Salam and hello everybody. In this video, I share a week of meals for a family of seven. I've tried to put recipes where I can. And uh, please excuse the noise, Ayub's awake. I usually do this when he's sleeping, but he's just had his nap, so that's not gonna happen. But anyway, yeah, on Saturday, we had waffles, homemade waffles. Usually I get them ready-made, but um, yeah, homemade ones are so yummy and soft. Yes, Ayub. <laughs> and um, yeah so i made them in my new <laughs> waffle maker <laughs> this is gonna go really well i made them in my new waffle maker from uh, Lidl, but it's not new anymore but yeah i just added together everything that i've got on screen into a mixing bowl and then i whisked it all together And then I oiled the waffle maker. And carefully poured in the butter for the waffles. I tried not to overfill it. And they were ready in a few minutes very quick and easy and yummy so we had our usual toppings with the waffles just some strawberries yeah and I poured over some evaporated milk and there was breakfast for Saturday and then because the weather was really nice we thought we'd do a barbecue so <coughs> I had some chicken drumsticks and um, marinated them. Yes, Ayub, I did, didn't I? I'll try and put the recipes um, in the description for you, my lovelies, for any meals that I can. Uh, but anyway, I added together everything on screen. Dada. Yeah. Uh, mixed it together. I would have left it marinating for longer, but I only, like, basically marinated it and then put it straight on the barbecue but it still tasted nice and flavorful if i left it long it would have been very very nice and flavorful so i had eight chicken drumsticks with the skin on and just coated that all in the lovely marinade isn't it ayub yeah <laughs> he's just looking at the screen And then Akia barbecued the food. So we just had some sausages and um, the drumsticks. And that was more than enough meat for us. I also caught up some salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> and uh, made some chips. and uh, had some hot dog buns so stuffed yeah. it with a few sausages just a few and then had a cheeky treat that yeah. night a triple chocolate cheesecake mm. <laughs> you stop it darling and then it was sunday and the weather was nice a bit cloudy we had some cherries they've all gone now um, um. so it was a very simple breakfast cereal and some pain au chocolat you think this is a game <laughs> and then for lunch i thought i'd make some um, prawn muffins mm -hmm. had some nachos and like a fruity drink like a fruit punch so i made like a prawn marie rose filling so prawns mayo ketchup lemon juice simple as that mix that all together and then I mixed in some lettuce as well and then filled some baps or muffins with the prawn and th that was our lunch basically and then I made the fruit punch with these um, lovely drinks so I got this uh, nice one 
is it uh, Rubicon Street drinks, like a new range they've got, really tasty. Um, and um, some pineapple juice, orange juice, and some like fizzy lemon and lime, sparkling water. And then I just added some ice cubes and a couple of mint leaves. And that was our lunch for Sunday. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah. Okay, all right, uh oh. And then for dinner, I made a lamb and potato pilau. I usually make biryani. It was basically a biryani, but I mix everything together, so it's basically a pilau. Really? I'll link you to the chicken pilau recipe that I've got. Just adjust that, but it was very tasty. Mashallah. And then it was Monday dinner time. Obviously, with the kids at school, didn't do anything special for breakfast and lunch. But for Monday, for dinner, I made some burgers. I made like a mint cucumber sauce and some chips and so the burgers were basically just kebabs in some uh, brioche buns. So I made the kebabs how I normally would. I usually use mint sauce but they didn't have any left in Asda so I just picked up some mint jelly so yeah there's some interesting information for you for the mint sauce I just chopped up some cucumber into small squares and then a few tablespoons of yogurt in a small bowl adding the cucumber chunks and the mint jelly or ideally mm. mint sauce mm. and when the kids came back from school I shaped the kebabs for the burgers the mixture should have been a bit thicker actually because the kebabs were kind of breaking apart in the frying pan so add maybe a little bit more flour than what I put on screen And then serve the burgers with some yummy chips. And then for Tuesday, um, just to have a break from me, had some fish curry and some rice. So these pollock fillets got them from Lidl, a nice big bag of those. So I chopped up the onion and the garlic and ginger and stuff. I can't remember exactly what spices I added. I'll try and put it roughly in the description if I get a chance. So the curry base is the same as always. Some oil, the onions and stuff, spices, salt, tomatoes, a bit of water. And then when that comes to the boil, I added in the fish. And I didn't move it around the pan too much because I didn't really want to break the fish up. And um, yeah, let it cook and that's the result. Fish curry with yogurt, yum. They had some uh, honeydew melon on offer in Aldi, so I had that as a snack, very tasty. And then for Wednesday, I think I was in a rush this day. And when I'm in a rush, this is my go-to dinner, spaghetti bolognese, like it's so quick and easy to make. Um, yeah, basically you cook the mince really quick, add in the passata, 
uh, oil, onions, some veg, mixed veg and that's it so it takes me like less than half an hour so yeah definitely a dinner for a busy day and then on Thursday Akil was kind enough to cook and uh, the dinner was actually really tasty mashallah so he grilled some chicken on the little griddle pan and um, look how yummy that looks and he made like a veg rice brown rice all very very delicious mashallah he doesn't cook that often but when he does I think he needs to do it more often that's what I reckon and then it was Friday and Friday if you know it's a takeaway day burger and chips cheeseburger and chips but anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed that week of meals thank you so much for watching and shall I see you soon salam bye